And now I am joined by another Illinois Republican congressman, Mike Boss from Murfreesboro, who we talked to a few hours ago, and we were speculating on this pick. Uh, J.D. Vance, the pick is in, as they say in the NFL draft. What do you think? Okay, I'm a Marine. He's a Marine. Simplify, hurrah. That being said, he chose someone. What a great field he had to choose from. But he's chose someone who has actually pursued and succeeded in the American dream. If you know J.D. Vance's story, did, grew, grew up in poverty, bad family situation, worked his way through it, built a business, then all of a sudden he's a U.S. Senator, um, a lot of hard work. He knows and understands the common man, as does the President, but truly where he started from nothing. Not only that, he's young, he's vibrant. Um, I believe that, you know, that in a short period of time, he will be able to be that place where a vice president needs to be, ready to take over as soon as something might go awry. That's, that's the number one qualification there, but I have to ask you, J.D. Vance had some very harsh words for Trump years ago, back in 2016, uh, reportedly referring him to America's Hitler. In his book, he was critical of the Republican Party and, and their attempts to, to appeal to working class Rust Belt folks. Do you believe that what, what, what do you think accounts for the change here? Well, a lot of things count for the change. One, he understands our mission and understands what we need to do with the, with the party and what we need to do with America as a whole. Where we need to make sure we secure our borders, making sure that we are uh, bringing the, the inflation back down, becoming competitive in the worldwide markets, and not only that, becoming energy independent. Once we do all that, he understands how this all works. He can work together. Politics at times, people say things. You know what? Enlightened a new, new, a new day. And right now, it's a day that we need to bring America back and grow it and grow the economy and make our enemies fear us again and our allies trust us again. He is young, 39, foreign policy experience. All right, you mentioned he was a Marine. Is there any concern that perhaps he's not ready on day one to assume that office should he need to? He is as ready as anyone could be. He is in a situation where we have a president that is and has a good staff. I want to talk about with Trump when he's elected. Good staff in place. Guidance will be a tremendous help, but it is time to pass that torch in, in a few years. It really will be. Do you, th you think that's what this is for Trump? And it's my channel. Trump knows he's... He's, a, he's a, he probably won't acknowledge this. He's getting up there in age. He's 78 years old. So is he looking at J.D. Vance as a potential successor to this movement? Well, any time you put somebody in a president, vice president's position, that's a possibility. Not all of them do that. You know, they're, they're most of, several of them have not. But it does provide that for a future in the party. That being said, if that comes to fruition, Trump is not, I don't, I'm not worried about Trump's health right now. We, I think when, when you go down after a bullet and jump back up, jump in your fist, odds are you're okay. But it, Save for a little piece of his ear, he said. Yeah, except for that little piece of the ear. Um, but, but what you do need to understand is that when President Trump, he only has one more term. That's it. And so at the end, the Republicans, we're going to be looking. And we have a deep field. And I'm going to tell you, any one of those that were in the field of, that could have been picked for president uh, and, and a few more, or for vice president and a few more, are going to be that field. So it'll be interesting to see how the next four, in four years how it plays out. All right, Congressman, good to talk no, to you twice you. today. Twice and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, sounds good. All right enjoy. All right, uh, that's Congressman Mike Boss from downstate Murfreesboro, Illinois. We talked to him as well uh, this morning. Clearly happy about this pick. This is the word I'm getting from Illinois delegates. They are happy about this pick. Again, J.D. Vance from the Midwest. They think that it adds some credibility to the whole Rust Belt appeal. And we know that there's the whole blue wall of states that uh, Joe Biden won back for Democrats, Wisconsin, Michigan, and, uh, and uh, <laughs> what's, the, what's the other? Oh, Pennsylvania. Sorry, we're thinking on the fly here. So anyway, Sylvia and Terrence, uh, uh, it's very active here. Uh, we expect uh, Mr. Vance to take the stage for comments any moment. There he is, actually, uh, walking into the arena right now, shaking hands with his wife. Uh, and he, we know that he has little children as well. A young guy, 39 years old. So we're going to stand by and await his comments. For now, we'll toss it back to you. All right. Thanks for that, Paris. Thank we'll you, be Paris. coming back to you shortly now.